The following segment is sponsored by Taste Utah. If you love gelato, then you're going to love this next segment. Katie Sign with Taste Utah went to Sweetily Gelato in Salt Lake City. Let's take a look. Taste Utah Road Tour. We're on Fresh Living and we are so excited to be taking you to some of the most delicious dining destination pockets all over Utah. Today, we're in the 15th and 15th area of Salt Lake City at Sweetily Gelato. We know that Utahns love their ice cream, but I feel like you might love gelato even more. We're gonna meet Francesco. He's co-owner with his wife, Lisa. They're from Italy. They're introducing us to this delicious Italian treat. Let's go get our taste on. All right, so I told you we were not lying. We're here in the kitchen with Francesco and Mendola, you and your wife, co-owners of Sweetily. Yes. How long have you been making gelato in Utah? Uh, Utah, eight years. Eight years. What is the difference between gelato and ice cream? Because we know Utahns love their ice cream, mm -hmm. but I think they might love their gelato more. Yeah, definitely. Well, the shorter answer would be that gelato has less air okay. than uh, ice cream. So that means more flavor, better texture. It's also natural. Yeah. So gelato is very simple. It only has five or six ingredients, while ice cream sometimes tends to have a lot of preservatives, a lot of uh, fillers, artificial fillers, yes. Yeah, absolutely. So we have the base here, which is basically milk. It's milk, sugar, whipping cream. Okay. Yeah. It's very important to make artisan gelato to have a pasteurizer. It matures the base. Mm. It makes it creamier and smoother. You're and stabilizing it, but mixing it, mixing finessing it. it. Yes. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. That's so Italian. Okay, yeah. so what are we making? Oh, very simple flavor okay. is the most popular one, which is salted caramel. Mm. And it's basically the milk, the base. Okay. Then we add caramel. Yum. And then we add the salt, sea salt. Okay. And then we top it with some other all right. caramel. Now you're just mixing all of the ingredients together, yeah. making sure that the caramel gets nice and integrated into the base. Into the base, And yeah. the base does look, there's like this sheen, it's creamy, it's smooth. I'm salivating, yeah. I'm so <laughs> excited. What's the next step? The next step, we're gonna put it in the batch freezer. Okay. It basically freezes the base and it puts air into it. Yeah, through the magic of a television, we actually have some gelato ready to taste. Yes. Okay, let's do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Just gonna move this over this way. And you've put this, you've already dressed it, which is so yummy. Yep. It almost looks caramel flavor because it's, the flake coloring has just made that base go to this beautiful yes almost tan color absolutely and then so you're just sort of mixing it around yeah you have to massage the gelato before you serve it yum that's what that's what people are doing while you're waiting for the gelato they are massaging your gelato <laughs> so that it's creamy and smooth and delicious absolutely. i'm learning so much gelato is an art yeah. And it goes back to the medieval times. I mean, that is so incredible. And it's something that you, with your culture and heritage of being Italian, yeah. have brought to Utah so that we can truly savor the taste and flavor of Italy on 15th and 15th in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is our mission. Basically, that's why we're here. Now, Francesco, you and your wife own this place. We are so grateful that you have chosen Utah as your home. Thank You've you. made dining destinations like this for us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can My pleasure. Can you give me a little cheers? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Katie, I am so jealous. That looks so good. And we'll be right back, so stay tuned for more Fresh Living.